Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land. My name is Lady Yardu and in today's episode, we're going to be conquering World 6. Alright. So, we're going to be going over here and uh, for those of you who are new to the Let's Play, this Let's Play is being recorded in front of a live stream. Uh, so, people who... So, while I'm actively recording this video, there's like an actual live stream for people to be watching. So, you can click on that in the corner of the screen for people watching the Let's Play and things like that, so yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting. But enough about that, because we're gonna be moving on to this world. And I'm not that much of a fan of beach levels, but this is a pretty fun level. I that was a very redundant sentence. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a pretty interesting level, and I do enjoy the music. And there are those giant spiky purple fish who want to eat our beautiful faces. <laughs> we go over here inside this roar pipe. And now we're underwater. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> so yeah, we can get these uh, red coins if you want. I believe we're just gonna get a one up because we already have a Tanuki suit. Yep, that's basically how it works. <laughs> I believe there's a star medal around here somewhere. Yep, yep, there is. It's like I've played this game. <laughs> Alright then, so we go over here and go back inside the pipe. I believe there's something inside the waterfall. Yes, there is. Nothing super super important. You can grab the boomerang mushroom if you want. So yeah, that's pretty fun. I'm gonna keep the boomerang suit on hand just in case we take damage. I don't want to lose my Tanuki suit. All right then. So. <laughs> All right. So now we have the final star medal. Um, how you can tell when those uh, giant purple fish are going to be coming? You can see the cracks on the board on the bottom right there. So that will tell you if uh, there will be some giant fishies around who want to eat your beautiful face. Watch out for those guys. And then we go over here and collect the golden flag. We have a golden flag. <laughs> Well, that's one way to start the level. <laughs> Alright, so we're now we're inside a pyramid. And this kind of brings up something that I want to talk about for this game. That I don't really think would have... There's really like any good place where I can really talk about it. But it's kind of one of my bigger complaints about Super Mario 3D Land in general. The levels don't really have any kind of theming. Like the last level we were in, it was like a giant beach and things like that. So, and that was pretty cool and all. But now we're inside a pyramid. So, I'm not entirely sure why there's no specific themes for these levels. Uh, the way they organize uh, the worlds in this game is a bit weird. But, whatever. It's still a pretty fun game in general. That's one thing that I think Mario 3D World did do a little bit better was that the worlds did have like a more specific theme to them. Okay. Get up there. I think there's something up here. No, there isn't. So I've been lied to my whole life. I don't feel like getting those coins. I'm honestly very nervous about jumping around here because I don't want to lose my Tanuki suit because I won't be able to cheat my way into getting a golden flag. Start right right there, and now we have all three of them. All right. <laughs> So watch out for those spikes, because obviously they're going to not be very pleasant if you touch them. Uh, I don't feel like getting those red coins. We already have a power-up. And we would just get a one up anyway if we were to go grab all those. And jump! Uh, no, 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 okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, we did it! Clap for joy. It's a spooky level. This is honestly one of my favorite ghost houses in the entire Mario series. I really like the idea of this one. And I really love this area right here in general. Like, it's a giant piano and things like that. It's a really neat level play level design area thing. It would have been awesome to see something like that in a 2D Mario game. But it never happened, unfortunately. 
And ooh, spooky. Well, luckily I have my 3D turned on, so I can just walk over here, and eventually the star metal will come to me. Someday, maybe. Or it's over there, apparently. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's try that again. I really do like these uh, block areas over here that play with the 3D. Alright, let's try that again. Third time is the charm. I'm sorry if this is cringy to watch. <laughs> yeah. A little reminder, I didn't practice before recording this video because, kind of like Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Legend, this is something that I kind of feel like I don't really need to practice too much. Probably not the best idea I've ever had. Right, watch out for the booze. And we can get some coins over here. Ooh. Money, money, money. I hope I didn't miss the star metal. Star coin, whatever you want to call it. I don't want that fire flower. I'm honestly very nervous that we may have missed that. Ouch. No. No. Ah, I'm gonna have to work. I'm gonna have to put effort into getting the star metal now. Golden flag, whatever you want to call it. I'm getting my collectibles mixed up. Whew, okay. Ah, da da. Ooh, there's a block over here we could jump on. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright, now we did it. Please tell me the star metal, the last star metal's over here somewhere. No, it isn't. Okay, fine, I see how it is. Uh, just like the ghost house we saw a couple worlds ago, if you stay over here long enough, you will eventually be able to see a ghost head. Um, I'm not gonna be I'm not, I won't be demonstrating that again because I'm actually kind of in a hurry to record these videos because I'm gonna be going to the movies pretty soon. All right, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, we did it! And now we're gonna have to go back for that other star medal. I think I know where it is, but I was too dumb to go grab it. Ultimate speed running tactics. Activate! I had a friend who wants me to get into speed running. I'm not entirely sure if that if I'd be really good at that. I probably wouldn't be. Um, to be completely honest. I'm not much of a speedrunner. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I try speed running? Ah, there's excuse me. Very rude of you, Star Metal. You're supposed to come to me, not run away. Very rude of you. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Star Metal. Come on, Star Metal. Yeah, we did it. Is it Star Metal or Star Coin this game? I can never remember. I probably looked it up in between videos. But, I don't know. Mystery House time. Easiest Mystery House ever. <laughs> like, they literally just throw stuff at us. Yeah, this is a very easy level. E very easy game. Although, wait, how many levels, how many lives did we have? <gasps> we have 128 lives! You divide that by 64 and it gives Nintendo 64! Woo! Oh boy, this level. This is a pretty interesting one. Because we have some beat blocks we gotta be careful with. This is a very nice level, and I do love the music here. But this is also one of those levels where I just struggle with it, and I have no idea why. I don't know why I'm so bad at this one in particular. Hopefully, the Let's Play Curse will be in reverse this time around, and we'll have an easy time with this one. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, those uh, wall guys over that we, were, that we saw a moment ago, uh, you just jump, and they'll stop for a moment, and you'll be able to get around them. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like those enemies. They're so adorable. Alright, everything seems to be good so far. I don't want to jinx, jinx myself, but it looks like we may be able to go through here with no problem. Let's wait for the blocks to come back around. Whew, okay. Okay, so... What I'm probably going to do for the music in this area, I'm not going to be quiet for you guys to listen to it, but I probably will have the music play during the end screen. I'm not entirely sure about that. I haven't... 
as I'm actually recording this, I hate, I not, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna handle end screens for this series. I may do bloopers like I did with Galaxy and 64, but I might do something else. I'm not, entirely, I'm not quite sure about that. Be careful right here. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am so surprised we made it through there without dying once. I am so happy. I usually have so much trouble with that level, but we didn't die even once. I'm so happy. Come for chili! So going back to what I was saying earlier in this episode about how these worlds don't really have any particular theming with them, we start off with a beach level, and then we had a desert, and now we're in a winter wonderland. I'm not entirely sure what they're going for with the theming in this game, but it's still pretty fun. I do enjoy this winter level. The music is very nice, and it all in all just looks very pretty. I love winter levels in video games. I'm, I'm the kind of person who prefers the cold over the heat, uh, so seeing a level like this is always really appreciated. Although I will say that the uh, snowy level in Super Mario Odyssey is probably like one of my favorites in uh, the Mario series. It's just so cool. I won't spoil anything for people out there who haven't played Mario Odyssey, but that was like one of my favorite levels in the entire game. But that's not Super Mario Odyssey, because we're playing Super Mario 3D Land, which is a totally different game. Destroy these Goombas, and we can get the 1-up. Oh yeah. So, now this this platform is going to be moving on along, along on a track, so we gotta be careful. We don't want to get off track on this. That was a very stupid pun. I apologize. Except not really. <laughs> uh, Alright then, let's go over here. And we're going to be moving faster than uh, the platform. Okay, I think we're going to have to go up a little bit higher to get that one. Let's jump up here. And jump. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we did it. All shall fear my abilities to grab a coin. All shall fear me. <laughs> Let's go over here and continue jumping around here and eventually collect the golden flag. And now, we've made it to the airship of World 6. Oh yeah. So yeah, we're going to be going through an auto-scrolling level with uh, some spiky pillars of doom and destruction and death or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what I was trying to say. Excuse me! It's very rude of you. You're not invited to my birthday party. Nobody's invited to my birthday party. I'm not invited to my own birthday party. <laughs> Alrighty then. So what you want to do is you want to make that thing bounce around and then eventually grab the star medal. Yay! Alright, watch out for those, um... I don't remember what those enemies are called. It's probably something super simple and easy to remember and like every Mario enemy remembers their name. And those aren't Monty Malls, I know that. Um, the guy throwing the wrenches and things around. I don't know. But anyway, we, yeah, we have it now. We have all three of these star medals. The third one was up here in case you couldn't figure it out on your own. And ooh, the borders are pink. I wonder where we've seen that before. Hmm. <laughs> this Koopa's on fire, fire, fire. This Koopa's on fire. <laughs> Alright then, so just like before, uh, Pom Pom is going to be jumping around and you want to be watch where she's going to land because uh, she will more than likely cross your face if you're not careful. And uh, what's been added this time around is the fact that she now has fire in the arena, so you need to be careful about that. Uh, that was a very weird jump. But now we got her, and now we've completed World 6. Let's go inside the green pipe, 
And because I'm cheap and don't feel like going through effort to go get the golden flags, we're gonna use it to nick your suit. I would love to see somebody beat this entire game without the Tanuki suit. Because that requires effort. <laughs> we all know I don't like putting effort into stuff. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go correct the golden flag. And thank you all so much for watching this video of Super Mario 3D Land. And until next time, it's geared to you. Oh yeah. Thank <laughs> you.